fight for it. Hi everybody. Today I'm going to dub a game that I previously played. So sometimes when I play I get really, really, you know, in my head. And you guys can see me do it. I get in serious mode and I don't say anything. Or if I do say something, it comes out as complete nonsense. Dubbing this game allows me to explain those complex thoughts I have without having to do the calculations anymore that I've been doing in my head. And you guys know I sometimes do some com sometimes very complex calculations. Can I win this game? Three cards ahead of what's happening. So I mulliganed out my field medics and my clear skies. Which might not have been the best thing to do, but Can't you can notice that I did not get a margarita here, and I'm kind of unhappy about that. Got any vittles? Hungry like a wolf, I am. You one of us or not? But Can't bad vittles? luck goes both Hungry ways, like a wolf, really. And I'm not. Like, you one of us or not? My opponent misplays here. They obviously have all three PFI in their hand. Well, how about a game of Gwent? Or they mess made their deck. Now this just. is not the end of the world. This is actually okay because the field medic protects my melee row from Geralt Igni, and I know everybody's playing Geralt Igni right now to, as a counter to Henselt. Once you get um, nine PFI on the board, that's so each of them have a set of nine points that so gets you to twenty-seven points on your melee row. Then your melee row suddenly is all destroyable Can't with the Geralt Igni. It's pretty bad. So you see how they have 18 strength on their board. I'm going to get rid of their stuff. I don't expect them to play the last uh, PFI. Or if they do, I'm afraid of them protecting it in some way. Tell me you jest. I also don't really have a good uh, play Hungry other than like that. I might have been better off saving the uh, uh, swipe for another turn, but I can't swipe it if I use Yennefer. So that's what was going on in my head, and I didn't really want to use the shackles unless they play a Margarita. Yeah. So here, my opponent's making a decision, and the decision's between a few different cards, but here they decide to use Azur's Double Cross, just like I would have. Um, I'm going to Shackle here, but um, it might be just, well, uh, actually I decide to use Henselt first. But it would have probably been more prudent to use Shackles first. So you see Can't how uh, they had Geralt Igni. I at least had a lot more gold cards in my hand, so I'm happy about that. I only know I have more gold cards now, but I didn't know then. Got any vittles? Hungry like a wolf, I am. My opponent decides to play another PFI from their hand, which would probably have come out anyways had I not la uh, lacerated. So that might be a misplay on my part. But at least I get some card advantage here. They're gonna cast Promote. So if they had 12 points less, they would have been at 71. They could have won without playing that PFI. But they might have been uh, worried that I would keep playing. And I wasn't going to keep playing, so. Because if I uh, use Geralt Igni here, I might have been do pretty well off too. I'm checking my graveyard. My opponent's now contemplating the consequences of their card loss. And they're roping me pretty hard. <laughs> so 
So in the next round, I'm looking at the points I have, and I'm thinking if I revive Priscilla, I get, uh, and she gets me into Margarita, that's 12 points right there. And then I'm thinking, well, then if I revive the Siege Tower, that's you will sweat like a swine that's in that 14 points. I told you so, you idiot. And, and it, because it summons to a death. Carny vettles, hungry like a wolf. I then am. if I use renew on Yennefer, that's an extra. Kind of hard to calculate that in words because it gives my opponent points and then i cast my first promote that gets me up to about nine uh eight eighty nine and then i have a second promote and that brings me up to about 119 is what's going on in my head and so that's why i play the clear weather instead of that i'm just gonna deck then yes it's one card and it gets you 19 points on the board but it's nothing compared to what Margarita is going to get me. So clear weather makes it much more likely that I'm going to pull Margarita or an Azure's Double Cross with a Priscilla. Because it pulls the first bronze own. card off my deck, and Priscilla takes the first two cards that are not gold out of my deck. So I have about a 50% chance. It's not easy to calculate to because it's a modified 50% to get that. Because I still have one Reaver Scout, one PFI, and the King of Beggars in my deck. And King of Beggars would be the worst thing that I've got to gotten right there. Well, Reaver Scout would be the worst, but... Yeah. So I got 15 points right here. Nasty I, I wounds, uh, that's because Azure's Double Cross gives me uh, an extra 3 points. So I have to modify all my calculations up three points, but it doesn't really matter at this point. It's going to be a lot of points. My opponent has... Uh, we have the same amount of cards, but it's really going to be a battle of who has the most golds, and I have a lot of golds that I have access to. So now I'm going to play my Shawnee into the Siege Tower. I'm thinking, I'm doing more calculations in my head right here because I've had to... <laughs> uh, I'm a medic. What do I have in my graveyard? How can I make this work? Something. So I get the siege tower. I contemplate what's going on here. <sighs> so that's 10 points from those two and an extra four points from Margarita. Hooey. So it's going to get me about 63 points to get the first promote off. Yeah. No, not 63. This will be two cards. Uh. Nasty so my opponent sense, also revives know. their Siege Tower. I'm not sure why they do this instead of um, Margarita they have. Since the Margarita is two extra points. They spawn as much damage as... Uh, points as the uh, Siege Tower you does. The wrong I don't see my opponent reviving Margarita anytime soon. So as that's 11 points me. from those two cards. Wish, An extra three Adepts because the Renew counts as a gold card. Then there's uh, six points on the Siege but we're Tower. Broke as shit peddlers. And then there's eight points, no, not eight, ten points from uh, the unicorn going off. That brings me up to 62. Each one of these will bring me ooh, ooh, first 10 Margarita points on to the uh, adepts, then another 10 points from the ones that spawn, and then 10 points to the siege tower. So each one of these is worth 30 points. Go for months. Now, 30 Lady point bronze cards are probably much more valuable than, you know, doing that field medic shenanigans earlier. And making, doing these calculations beforehand really may help you, you know, win games. So, we won the game. We did pretty well, I think. 
yeah, we lost the first round, but my opponent passed early in the second round. I think they might have been able to beat me if they uh, depleted my cards. 